In this video, we're going to use Audio to Gesture, which is NVIDIA Omniverse's AI driven animation tool using the sound of your voice, export it and put it into Blender. Let's get into it. Hey, so, okay, that's pretty cool. So all I did was is got a sound grab of my audio and put it onto um, Audio to Gesture and it popped all that animation out. So this is what I'm going to show you on how to use it and how to export it into Blender. There are a few things, so let's kind of like get into it. So I've opened up a brand new project of the Mishima. Um, I'm on version 2022, so it's gonna be the latest version. Um, I already have Audio to Gesture here in the tab. However, if you don't have it, animation, Audio to Gesture, offline pipeline. And this will add in our wonderful character. And then we've got the default audio. The beige hue on whoopsie doodle. Um, if it's the first time you're opening it, it's going to do kind of like a baking process. So just give it some time. But once you've got the uh, audio plugged in, you on the waters cook, of the lock and, and it does that, all, including the French Queen. Stop, 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 stop. stop. I'm going to import my own audio. So let's go into where my folder is. Do it. So let's go and then press run A to G. If this is helpful, like and subscribe. Do it. Now, I've already played with a few of these settings. Um, there's a whole bunch of styles that you can pick from. I hope these expand a bit more. But at the moment, it's quite nice. I really do like it. I am going to stick with the big gestures. Uh, I will just quickly show you standing behind a table, but feel free to play with this if yourself. This is helpful, like and subscribe. Do it. I like that. I like how he's standing there. But let's go back to big gestures. Top number seven. If this is helpful, like and subscribe. Stop. <laughs> if this is helpful, like and subscribe. Do it. I don't think it likes that do it bit. Um, I think it really needs to be able to recognize voice and that's how it gets its intent and so on and so forth. So now we've got our animation, you little ripper. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, there are ways of importing your own characters, but because we're focusing on exporting it out into Blender, we're gonna focus on like that. Down the bottom here, let's just quickly save it into a folder. Uh, there, please, thank you, file name. Animation, good enough, you know, very original. All I'm gonna do now is press record. It's gonna quickly record. Now I can go into the stage. Let's increase our stage. Um, we've got our skeleton. I'm actually gonna click and drag the skeleton in the sequencer down the bottom. There we go. Um, this sh might be the animation. Nope, that's fine. Let's remove that sequence. Now I'm gonna go into our folder where we save that gesture. So we've got a take.usda because that's the file we called it. Um, let's dump it into here. And then when we put it to the start and we press play, there we go, we've got that animation. Obviously no audio because we haven't set any audio, um, but that's where we can kind of come in, throw in the do it in there, and now we've got it playing. If this is helpful. All in one shebang. Let's now go ahead and export this animation. So I'm just gonna remove the sound, select my character, file, export. Um, we will save it here into do it and we'll change it to an fbx and i'm going to click save let's go export um, animations materials and textures sure why not let's export that puppy out jumping over into a fresh copy of blender now it doesn't have to be the omniverses version so i'm actually at the moment on 3.3 .3. okay so delete everything as always, file, import, let's go into the FBX, where do we save it? There we saved it, into the would do it. Give it a sec, beautiful. And so there's our character. Now, it's not completely mapped properly. And uh, so let's talk about this. These fingertips, I think are trying to be parented to normals, which don't, you can't really do it to normals because they're not bones. So that's why these are funky, same as the feet. So the, Foot, which is this bone down here, is a bone, but then kind of like toe is an empty, which I don't know why they've done it like this, but I'm gonna figure they're gonna change that eventually. I'm just gonna reset the length length of the frame. So now we've got the animation into Blender 
few issues now, but we can work through it. So if I were to click pose mode, we can see, yay, root FBX. That is the root bone that, that we have selected down the bottom. However, if we start selecting the arms, they make no sense. Same as the fingers, obviously RT, right, T, one. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and so that's how we can remap it. Now I've got a video on how to map um, animations from different skeletons. The third way is the best way, and that's to use Auto Rig Pro. Now I've been, I bought Auto Rig Pro four years ago and haven't looked back since. And then as soon as Quick Rig came out, mwah, I abused that as well. So what I'm gonna do now is just to show you as a test, I'm actually gonna bring in a character um, from Character Creator 3, because we know they are the best characters. So let's quickly just go find a character. I'm just gonna import this chap, import. And there we had, I'm just gonna move him over a little bit. Um, wonderful looking character. Let's just, uh, let's just check him out. Look at that, gorgeous. So that's Character Creator 4. There is a link in the description if you wanna look at those characters. With this character selected, I'm going to delete the mesh because I don't care for the mesh. I'm going to jump to Auto Rig Pro, and this is Auto Pro Quick Rig. Now, I've had this add on for two years because that's how long it's been out for. As soon as it came out, bam, I purchased it because it's completely worth it. So, selecting my character, I've already got presets done Character Creator Plus, Oakley Doakley, Quick Rig. Let's go preserve volumes, okay. And now this is gonna set up all the controls for the character. So you can see that we've got um, FK on these bones. We've got IK on the feet, you little ripper. And obviously if we come into tools, this is where we can switch from IK to FK. So the way I've done this is you want it to be in FK and we wanna be able to copy across this motion. So back into Auto Rig Pro, let's jump down into the Auto Pro remap. Let's go source animation. And then this is going to be our target animation. And now let's go build the bones list. And as you can see now, if we come down, nyar, nyar, it is just an ugly mess of bones. I don't know why, but what we can do though, is when we select our rig, we can see that this here, arm um, RTFBX1 is shoulder, the right shoulder. So what you do is you come down into here, uh, we go C underscore shoulder, because we want the control right. And now that's kind of like copied across. So when we go to process the animation, it'll copy it across. I've done this for you. So you can download a file, there is a link in the description for free. <laughs> just give me a subscribe, give me a like, let me know that if you're gonna do it this way, just let me know, leave a comment below. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to import and I'm going to import the um, map that I've already created. So let's go import mapping and we can see now everything is lined up. Let's go into object mode from here Let's go into the retarget. I want the Bezier Oakley Doakley. Give it a sec. There we go. We now have our animation. Mm, now, actually, let's, let's just play it and we'll go through uh, just a really quick issue. Cool. So that's how we've brought it across. Obviously, it's not perfect because these skeletons don't match with the leg down here. Let's go into uh, pose mode, select that tool. We can see that it's sitting on IK. Let's switch it to the FK. And now when we press play, the legs will be in the correct position. And there we go. So we've transferred that motion across. If we want, we can um, clean this up a little bit in Auto Rig Pro. Where is it? There is an option where I can flip it around a little bit. This is now where we come into the interactive tweaks. Now we've got to select the bone that we want to tweak. Uh, I just want to tweak the, actually we'll start off with the shoulder. Right, mm, that'll be that arm. Nope, that'll be that arm there. In the interactive tweaks, we can start kind of like changing the rotation a little bit. 
Uh, let's bring it forward, maybe on the Z. There we go. And we'll do it with the same with this shoulder. And so this is a really good way to, you know, progress fixing up animations. Oh my goodness. Such a lifesaver. Auto Rig Pro. But that is the process of going from audio to gesture to blender. Murr.